Hey guys, I hope that I'm live right now. If you guys are able to listen to me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video, please let me know. Hello everyone, I hope that I'm live right now. If you guys are able to listen to me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video, please let me know. All good, no issues in anything, right? Everybody is able to listen to me properly as well. Good. Amazing guys. Amazing. So how are you guys? Is everybody all right? Is everybody fine? Please let me know. Is everybody all right? Is everybody fine? Please let me know guys. Good evening everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good. Good. Okay. So, uh, let us do a quick recap about what we have studied in our previous class. So good guys, let me know what are the things that we have studied in our previous class guys. Just a quick revision so that we are able to start with our today's class. Do let me know guys, what have we studied in our yesterday's class guys? We studied about ports. Good. Anything else that we have studied? We used express to make a basic website. Hello world in express. Good. Request and response. Good. We learned about node mon as well. Good. We learned about creating a backend, not a server guys. Again, the, there is a difference between a server and a backend. A server is just a computer. Okay. Your backend code is what basically drives the entire backend, right? And it lives on the server. So we, I haven't learned how to create a server, right? What we have learned is we have learned how to create a backend code, right? That is what we have learned about. Please do remember it guys. Okay. Do not forget what we have learned. Good guys. Amazing. Okay. Uh, we uh, studied about underscore underscore DIR name as well. Good. We studied about sending a file that is HTML, right? Good guys. Uh, Idhori vlogs. I'm really excited for the internship program, but confused between the uh, live and the self paced. See, the, if you are not comfortable in giving time on a daily basis, coming up to classes live, then go with the self paced program. But if you are, if you want to learn live from a mentor, if that is your aim, that somebody should sit on your head and make sure that you are learning, then go with the live program. It's as simple as that. Okay, great guys. So what we're going to do today is that our aim is to make sure that uh, yesterday we learned about the get request. Do you guys remember that? Please let me know. Nameless callback functions. Great Ashish. Yesterday we learned about the, uh, so in our uh, university lecturer taught PHP. That is Node.js equivalent to PHP. Do we have to learn PHP? If we learn Node.js, can we do everything? We uh, did PHP in Node. I'm from Sri Lanka. Pin colons, uh, please try to understand this, that PHP was used 15 years ago. Right now in the industry, no company wants PHP developers and uh, because there are no projects actually in PHP, it has been uh, shifted entirely into Node.js uh, for the backend itself. So Node.js is the latest trending technology, the most in demand in the entire industry, at least for the next 10 to 15 years. So that is the reason why I will suggest, see, whatever you learn in colleges, that is basically just for your college level itself. It's not for placements. Okay. Please try to remember that for placements. Yes. You will have to put in a little bit more efforts. Good guys. So let us get started. So yesterday we had learned about the get request, right? Um, this time we have to learn about the post request. Okay. So as the name suggests, you are having post. Okay. What do you post guys? Have you heard about the term post in normal English? What's the meaning of the term post in normal English guys? Could you guys let me know? Could you guys let me know what is the meaning of the term post in normal English guys to send something, right? You see that I posted this letter, right? I posted a post on LinkedIn. Okay. All these different terminolo terminologies basically suggest one thing, some information that needs to be sent on a letter. What is happening? You're writing some information and you're posting it up. Okay. You are, uh, writing a blog, you are making a reel or some shit. If you are a TikToker, uh, or else you are creating a good visual design and posting it up on Instagram, LinkedIn or some other place. 
so you are basically sending off some kind of data some kind of information throughout through the entire internet itself that is the meaning of the term post okay so for example the same thing happens on a website as well for example you are having a form okay you are having a form on a website that is asking for your first name your last name your email id your mobile number so when you type all that on the website and then click on submit okay that information is getting sent to the backend to the server to the backend itself and that sending is called as post because it is not asking for anything in return right it is not asking anything for return it is just sending some information back to the website are you guys able to understand this post guys please let me know whatever you fill out on the form on a web page okay all that information put together you are sending it to the back end when you click on submit and that process itself is called as post are you guys able to understand this please let me know any questions or queries in this particular aspect guys please let me know everybody is able to understand it right amazing guys i knew you guys will be easily able to understand it great guys amazing so the same thing is what we are going to do difference uh, between get and post so in get you are not sending any information from the user to the backend the user is asking for files it is asking for some information from the server okay please try to understand this guys when there is a get request you are asking for some stuff from the server right whereas in a post request whatever you have entered right over here for example google in google.com you have searched for a particular term that term itself whatever term that you have searched for that is getting sent to the backend so get request is to get something post request is to post something to send some information these are two different types of requests that are there okay right now we are working with a get request we have been working with a get request right now we will be focusing upon the post request guys okay are you guys able to understand i hope that you guys are able to understand it no questions in this right get and post something extremely uh, extremely well put on right over here okay uh okay the next thing that i need to do is first of all i need to get the files for you guys okay i have downloaded the file somewhere and i have forgotten about it give me a second let me find those files for you index.html okay let me just find that i think so one of these is the index.html uh no this is for the other uh, page give me a second guys i need to find a file for you guys i have just forgotten where the file is actually okay so give me two seconds so that i am able to find that file okay this is the file okay so i got the file now i need to make sure that that file is somewhere else i think so the obs crashed off no issues thank you guys i hope that you guys are able to listen to me properly please let me know guys i hope that you guys are able to listen to me properly guys please let me know okay so now there will be no issues i think so the obs just crashed on me i don't know why but uh, yeah the internet is working absolutely fine there's no issues with the internet i think so this was just a one time thing that the uh, obs crashed for us the streaming software no issues in that guys there is no issues with the internet from my end okay it was just the issue with the streaming software now that has been solved so there will be no issues moving further so could you guys just uh, do me a favor and remind me uh, what was i saying before obs crashed uh, because i just went blank after that so could you guys let me know what uh, went wrong with the obs just normal Okay, yeah, I was finding a file for you guys, right? So, uh, like I said, guys, because uh, HTML is not a part of this bootcamp, I've already created a basic HTML file for you guys to use. Uh, I will be giving you good those files as well. Do not worry about it. Uh, our main focus will be with our backend. Okay, that is our main focus, not front end. So, if you guys want to learn about front end and all these kind of stuff, we are having a lot of bootcamps in the future. You guys can join right over there for the same. 
okay so uh, let me go back let me go back to our uh, code itself let me bring out your chat on the left hand side and your web on the right hand side give me a second which one was it okay so this was the uh band box that we were using yesterday right so let me first uh, delete the index.js. We are not going to use index.js. So I'm doing a right click, on, sorry, not index.js, <laughs> index.html. So I will do a right click on index.html and I will delete it. Okay, similar to that, we don't need file1.txt and file2.txt. So we'll delete that as well. So delete and delete right over here as well. Okay. And our main goal is to use this index.js file. Okay. Now we are going to upload a new file right over here, guys. So to click on, uh, just uh, we need to upload a new file as well. Let us see how to upload a new file right over here. Uh, new directory, new file, find in folder, rename, delete. Actually, this is also new for me. Uh, even I have to look into it, how to get uploads right over here. Okay. Hmm. Let us try drag and drop. Let us do that. Somebody is suggesting drag and drop. So let us try drag and drop as well. Yeah, I think so. Drag and drop should work. Let me make it a bit smaller. Over here. So this is the index.html file, guys, that I have created. I will be giving you guys the access to this file. Do not worry about it. So right over here, guys, I'm just dragging it and dropping it into intro to node, guys. I'm dragging and dropping it into intro to node. As we're able to see, now we are having index.html file inside of our intro to node folder. Are you guys able to see this? Please do let me know. Are you guys able to see this? I've just dragged and dropped the index.html file that was there on my laptop itself directly into my sandbox present inside of the intro to node folder itself. I'm going back into my index.js and this is where we'll be continuing to write our code. So index.html, that is the file that we are going to render at the root of the website. Let us go and check what is happening right over there. Okay, let us read this. Let us save this. Let us uh, go back to our website and reload our page once again. Okay, we'll have to restart our server, I guess. Terminal has to get restarted. Let us open up the terminal once again. New terminal. Let us open it up right over here. Connecting blah, 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 blah. Uh, CD intro to node. Node mon index.js. So right over here, we have started our server on the port 3000 guys. Uh, using nodemon index.js as you are able to see the server is working right now we will open up our uh, port once again so the 3000 port needs to be opened up open this up on our website and this is the current website that we are able to see guys this is the website that uh, i have created a simple ass website using html wherein we have two numbers and then we can calculate some shit up we don't know what we are going to calculate but we can calculate some shit up right over there. Okay. So that is a very basic website that I've created for you guys so that uh, you guys are able to understand the use of post. Okay. So when I'm writing, okay. So when I'm uh, loading this website up, it is sending a get request, get the index, get the files associated with the root of the website. That is our index.js. So when you're getting this get request at the root of the website, we are sending the index.html file to the browser and that file is getting rendered right over here. Now when I'm putting up some information, for example, 12 and 5, okay, I'm putting up some information, 12 and 5, and then I'm clicking on calculate, okay, this information 12 and 5 is getting bundled up and sent to our backend, okay, and that is creating a post request for us. So right over here, as soon as I click on calculate, as you're able to see, cannot post at forward slash. That is, there is no way of sending a post request 
to our website from the root because our backend code can handle a get request but is currently not able to handle a post request guys are you guys able to understand this our backend code is able to handle a get request but when we are send, cal clicking on the button calculate that information is getting sent back to our server as a post request and we don't have any way in our backend code to handle a post request itself as simple as that so we are going to handle that for it so 